Good day engineers So para sa video natin na to Sasagutan natin yung sample problem number 2 So simulan na natin uh, Sa sample problem number 2 It states that a 6.5 meter high retaining wall Supports a horizontal backfill Having a unit weight of 18.2 kN per cubic meter A cohesion of 20 kPa And an angle of shearing resistance of 18 degrees So, we have to determine the active and the passive earth force. So, para dito sa sample problem na to, uh, meron na tayong involved. Meron na tayong involved na cohesion. So, si UNC, ayan siya, given yung 20 kilopascals na cohesion natin. Then, given na rin yung angle of sharing resistance and yung unit weight ng soil. And sinabi na din na yung retaining wall is 6.5 meter high which is horizontal backfill. So, if we draw uh, that given problem, so ito siya. So, as you can see, meron na tayong 6.5 meters high na retaining wall which is ito then andyan na din yung properties ng soil natin yung gamma na 18.2 yung cohesion ng 20 kPa and yung angle of internal friction na 18 degrees so to solve this one we need the diagrams So, for each condition on the soil. So, para dun sa soil natin, here is the diagram. So, yung first diagram for pressure number 1 is for the lateral earth pressure coming from the soil. And the second diagram corresponds to the cohesion of our soil. So, to start solving the our pressures using these diagrams so syempre kakailanganin natin yung active earth and the passive earth coefficients so to solve for the active earth coefficient we will have k sub a which is equivalent to a value 1 minus the sine of phi divided by the value 1 plus the sine of phi So, that is equivalent to a value 1 minus the sine of 18 divided by 1 plus the sine of 18. So, our value for the active earth coefficient will be equivalent to 0.5279. So, ito ngayon yung ating active earth coefficient. Now, to get our passive earth coefficient, we will have k sub p is equal to 1 over the value ka. So, that is equal to a value 1 divided by 0.5279. So, our passive earth coefficient will now be equivalent to a value of 1.8943. So ngayon, meron na tayong active earth coefficient and the passive earth coefficient. Now we can determine the pressure for the active condition. So let's start with our active condition. So, syempre, for our active condition, we proceed with P sub 1. So, that is a value. So, syempre, that is the lateral earth force for our soil. So, that is for sigma prime V times Ka, which corresponds to gamma times the H times the Ka. So, that will be a value. 18.2 
times the height of 6.5 times Ka which is 0 0.5279 so our P sub 1 now will just be equivalent to a value of 62.4506 So this is in kilo pascals Now next, dun tayo sa P sub 2 Which corresponds to the cohesion of our soil So syempre, nandito tayo sa active condition So the cohesion of the soil will cause a negative value So that is negative 2C square root of Ka so that will be equivalent to a value of negative 2 times the cohesion 20 times the square root of 0 0.5279 so that is equal to a value of that is 29 point zero six two seven so that is in kilo pascals so syempre meron na tayong pressure 1 and pressure 2 so kapag ginawa natin yung forces at ini-add natin uh, ang mapapalabas natin is a value na force before the tensile crack occurs. So, lagyan pala natin to ng negative value. So, this will be equivalent to negative 29. So, gawin natin, or kunin natin yung force, bef or yung active force before the tensile crack occurs. So, syempre, kunin natin yung forces. So, for our F1, so, syempre yung diagram natin dito for F1 is ito. So, ito siya. So, syempre kunin natin yung area nyan which is a triangle. So, since that is a triangle, so we could have F1 is equal to 1 half times P1. So, 1 half times P1 times the height H. So, that will be equivalent to 1 half times 62.4506 times 6.5. So, that is just equal to a value of 202.9646 or 9.6 5. So that is in kilonewton per meter since we analyze this one per meter strip. Next, F sub 2 will come from the diagram for the cohesion which is a rectangle which is this one. So that will just be P sub 2 times H. So that will be equivalent to a value of negative 29.0627 times 6.5. So that will be a value equivalent to negative 188.0627. Seven, six. So this is in kilonewton per meter. So now for our active earth force before tensile crack occurs. So we have a value F A is equal to F1 plus our F2 so that will just be 202.9645 or 
plus negative 188.9076. So our active earth force before tensile crack occurs will be equivalent to a value of 14.0569. So this is in kilonewton per meter. So ito na ngayon yung inahanap, ha, inahanap natin na active earth force before tensile crack occurs. So alternatively, pwede din natin siyang kunin using a resulting diagram. So for the resulting diagram, we can have So yung resulting diagram natin will be a value. So since kinuha ko kasi na negative sign na yung cohesion So, dito, i-add natin yung kung ano man yung pressure sa taas at yung pressure na nandito. So, since negative na yung value doon, so, pito na lang yung nilagay ko kasi negative na yung value nung kinuha natin kanina which is ito, negative 29. So, kaya pito na lang yung nakalagay dyan. So, pwede rin naman na that is negative P sub 2. Then, yung dito naman, we add P1 plus P2 since negative na yung nakalagay sa magnitude natin. Pwede rin namang P1 minus P2 kung positive yung nilagay nating magnitude. Eh, since negative na, so we get P1 plus P2. So, from this diagram, as you can see, since negative yung nasa taas at possible na positive yung nasa baba, this is just an assumption na positive yung nasa baba. Pero pag nag-negative yung nasa baba natin, ibig sabihin, yung buong soil is nag-crack. So, ibig sabihin, wala nang matitirang force after the tensile crack occurs. And we have a negative value for the force before tensile crack occurs. So, ibig sabihin, wala ding force doon since negative yung value. Lahat sila puro tension. Pero, we get the tension part in Uh, in the condition before tensile crack occurs. So, syempre, we solve for whatever is P1 plus P2. So, for this one, syempre, yung P2 natin, so, that is equivalent to a value yung kaninang na-compute natin, which is negative 29.06 27. So, that is in kilopascal. Then, yung P1 plus our P2 will be equivalent to a value 62.4506 plus negative 29.0627 so that will be equivalent to a value of 33.3879 so nag positive yung value niya ibig sabihin tama yung diagram na this is on a positive side and this will be on the negative side or on the tension side so now our purpose is to get the depth of our tensile crack so kailangan natin yung value say sub o so to get that uh, so to get that we need to have a ratio and proportion or to use the similar triangle so we could have syempre yung pressure na nasa taas that is kunin natin yung absolute value so that is 29.0627 divided by the height z sub o is equal to a value p1 plus p2 is 33.3879 divided by a value h is 6.5 minus z sub o So, check natin kung 6.5. So, that is 6.5 minus Z sub O. So, for this one, we could get the value of Z sub O, which is equivalent to a value of 3.0249. So, tignan natin kung may fraction. So, that is 3.0249. So, this is in meters. Now, we can get H minus Z sub O. It's equivalent to a value of 
3.4751 So, yan ngayon yung mga values nung height natin for our resulting diagram. Now, we could get the value or the force before tensile crack occurs. So, that will be FA is now equivalent to yung triangle na nasa taas. So, that is 1 half ng P2 times AO. So, that is 1 half. Yung P2 natin is a value negative 29.0627 times yung Z sub O natin which is 3.0249 plus yung nasa baba na triangle which is 1 half H minus CO times P1 plus P2. So, that is 1 half times 33.3879 times 3.4751. So, our value for the active earth force will be equivalent to 14.0573. So, this is in kilonewton per meter. So, as you can see, tingnan natin kung malapit yung values niya. So, halos magkalapit yung values. Mas, uh, mataas lang to ng 0.004. So, negligible na naman halos yun. So, this is our active earth force. Now, pwede natin makuha yung ating Active earth force after tensile crack, basta tatanggalin na natin itong tension side. So as a result, we have a diagram na to. So ito yung diagram for our force before tensile crack. So tinanggal na natin yung part ng Tension. So, it has a height equivalent to a value. So, yung na-compute natin kanina na 3.4751. So, ito siya ngayon. So, para makuha natin yung active earth force before or the after tensile crack occurs. So, this is after tensile crack. Of course. So that will be equivalent to a value F sub A is equal to So area lang ng triangle So that is 1 half Times Yung P1 plus P2 value natin kanina Na 33.3879 So that is 33.3879 Times yung height na 3.4751. So, that will give us a value equivalent to 58.0131. So, this is in kilonewton per meter. Ito na ngayon yung active earth force natin after tensile crack occurs. So, just remember, kapag meron ng effect yung cohesion, you have two values for our active earth force. Isang before tensile crack occurs and isang after tensile crack occurs. Now, we can proceed to getting the force on the passive condition. So, before that, kailangan din natin syempre yung drawing yung diagrams niya, which is so, ito yung gagamitin nating diagram din for our passive earth condition. So, syempre, sa passive earth, we consider the pressure for the cohesion as positive. So, calculate muna natin yung pressure. So, passive condition. So, that is a value P sub 1. So, syempre, para yan dun sa soil. So, that is gamma HKP. So, yung gamma natin dyan is equal to 
18.2 and yung KP natin is 1.8943. So that is 18.2 times 6.5 times 1.8943. So that is equal to a value ng PISA 1 which is 224.0957. So, this is in kilopascal. So, next, our P sub 2 will be equivalent to a value 2C square root ng KP. So, ito, positive na siya kasi nga, nandun tayo sa passive condition. So, our value will be 2 times 20 times square root ng 1.2 square root ng 1.8943 so that is equivalent to a value of 55.0534 so this is in kilopascals now isolve natin siya using our forces so we will have F sub 1 so yung F sub 1 natin is for the triangle which is this one. So we could have F1, which is 1 half, times RP1 times DH. So that will be equivalent to 1 half times P sub 1 will be 224.0957 times H, which is 6.5. So we could have a value equivalent to 728.311. So, this is in kilonewton per meter. Next, our F sub 2. Our F sub 2 will correspond or will correspond to our rectangular pressure diagram. So, that is P sub 2 times H. So, that is equivalent to our P sub 2 is 55.0534 times the height 6.5. So, our F sub 2 now will just be equivalent to 357.8471. So, this is in kilonewton per meter. Now, adding those two forces, it will result to our passive earth force. So, that is F sub 1 plus our F sub 2. So, our passive earth force now will be equivalent to a value of 1086.1581. So, this is in kilonewton per meter. So, ito na ngayon yung ating passive earth force na hinahanap. So, we have solved the active earth force before and after the tensile crack occurs and also our passive earth earth force so that will be all for this video on our sample problem number 2 again this is Engineer Rodolfo thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Butch TV